And so direct quantization works just fine for this. And I can get different theories of quantum electrodynamics, not necessarily from doing this. But yeah, but the problem with quantum mechanics is that it treats space and time on a different footing. Or so yeah. Cool. It was a very difficult and overwhelming diagnosis. I think certainly facing autism was one of the biggest struggles of my life with my child. Jake was our little buddy. He was happy, he was giggly, he was so full of joy, and then slowly he sort of started to retreat from our world and engage in this sort of solitary play. And it was very frightening and just devastating. But I think the message is that in that solitary play, there's value. And children with autism are not really missing. There's something that they're thinking about. They're just thinking in a much deeper, maybe sometimes more sophisticated way. When a child is diagnosed with autism, they're enrolled in therapy. And this protocol seems to take up quite a bit of time. And we were working, trying to get him to rejoin our world, stuff like stacking rings, um, things like trying to get him to smile at a teddy bear. And we were getting relatively little feedback from Jacob. It seemed that when the therapy was over, I noticed he was doing these remarkable things. The therapist would leave and he would go off to the corner and create an elaborate design out of string that wasn't a tangled mess that you'd expect a toddler to create. I took him out into the country, into the night, and looked at the stars. We drove our car out to the end of a country lane. We turned the lights on, we played jazz music, and just ate popsicles together and looked at the stars and I had no idea that the stars would be the thing that brought Jacob back into our world. I was always interested in how the world around me works and what are the different structures in it and I've been interested in that ever since a little boy. So I've always sort of had an interest. When I started attending university I was still quite undecided. Um, I didn't know if I wanted to be say a physicist or something as daring as a mathematician or um, so I didn't quite know. So. It took me a while to figure out that what I really wanted to do was physics, and um, so now I'm here. There's something here that just makes you want to work, and there's something here that really want to make you do, your, do research. And um, it's a very nice community, and it's a very collaborative environment. You're not going to get stuck on doing something if you're having trouble. We do give each other cool problems and discuss some um, cool different things. One of us was um, showing us how grassman variables could be interpreted as, say, a differential form. And so that was pretty cool. So yeah, um, we've been challenging each other. There's sort of a beautiful thing about this place and about the way that I've seen the people interacting. Just the combination of art and culture and physics is really beautiful. I do do quite a lot of physics. To admit it. I, I find it very um, fascinating. 